Hey boys, welcome back to some more Ashes Cricket career mode here. And we're going to be continuing on with, uh, with the spin bowling career mode. <laughs> Didn't know what to say for a second there, but I did, as you see there, I did boost the, um, the batting difficulty up to hard. Uh, I mean, it's not like we were scoring like stacks of runs. We got a couple of 50s and then two failures, so, but I don't know. I just thought, uh, I thought I should probably put the batting difficulty up probably, you know, because yeah, our stats are pretty low. It should be a struggle to actually score runs. So that's, that's the only real change there. Other than that, I mean, the series has started off fantastic. Bowling, we've, uh, we've taken wickets. We, you know, we've had to work pretty hard for the wickets, which is, which is a a good thing, I I think. Um, you know, it hasn't been coming on and just getting bags of wickets after a couple of overs. We've had to pull a lot of overs for them, but it's been good fun. As right, <laughs> right there. I did not mean to do that. I I I meant to press the block button. I thought it was L1 for some reason. So he did a <laughs> the old helicopter shot, and uh, yeah, I I I thought I was gone. I don't know how it was an LB, but. We survived first ball. Like I said, I did mean to block it, but I pressed the wrong, press the wrong button for it. So we survive, and that's probably the last time I'll, uh, I'll probably try to block in this game. Um, there's a nice shot there. Pretty nice timing. Just uh, pushes it through, and it's going to go for four. Actually, very, very quick across the uh, outfield. That's something I've noticed. Like the AI does it as well. Like just, just timing the ball. Like they just play like a, not much more than a, a defensive push of the ball and it goes for four which you know is fairly realistic I mean if you if you time the ball with a newish ball and it's a quick outfield like it's, it's gonna go so I don't I don't mind that and it, it just it rewards like better timing which is good don't always have to like slog it so that's uh that's a good thing as well but yeah we've uh like I was saying we've we've been bowling excellent but our batting I mean we've got two 50s already which I'm pretty happy with but I feel like there's a there's a fair bit of missed opportunity there as well. Like we've got out both times, like straight after the fifty, and uh, you know a couple of failures in amongst it. So that's something we can definitely uh, improve upon. Just our consistency with the bat, as uh, again just uh, just p we're trying to play pretty pretty suspect here. Not uh, not doing anything too rash at the at the moment. It's a bit of a bit of a short ball there. We pull away. And uh, one thing I, I should mention, I said this in like the first episode or second episode that I thought it was a glitch. I'll see if we can see it here, but when you hit it, the the marker on the, as a beautiful shot, that square drive, just fantastic. But the little marker where the ball bounces, I thought it was a glitch, but I, apparently that's like a, a thing in the game that where the ball bounces after it hits the bat, it comes up with this little marker. I don't know why that's in the game. I personally find it very annoying. You can probably turn it off. Like, I don't know. I'll have, I'll have to have a look at like the options menu because there's a lot of things you can actually like turn off and on for like the HUD. So I'll see if you can actually get rid of that as a right here. Oh man, we've timed it so early. I just try to cut this one away. It got big on me. Like it was a, it was like helmet height, I think is, uh, yeah, it's like, almost above the helmet and we've timed it so early just the top edge just spooned it up it went a fair distance but the the man of cover got around and and took the catch so again we had a, a decent start but getting out in a fairly frustrating way as we're, <laughs> we're getting brought on into the attack and this, this was very strange like as you see there best of six for 99 and bowling extremely well but we we come on here they're nine for 160 100 what am i saying nine for 196 so Given us a bit of a spell, like the the first two matches, we bowled like, geez, I don't know, probably like forty overs for the for the match, like for both matches. So I mean, we've we've been bowling a lot. So I don't know, just given us a bit of a bit of a spell. I mean, the pace bowlers obviously have done done a good job to pick up the wickets, and we get a chance here to just come on and and get a sneaky wicket at the end here, which is which is nice. I was actually pretty happy to have a bit of a spell. Um, after bowling so many overs, so yeah, we can hopefully, and I, I guess these tail enders here, they're doing a, doing a fairly good job, just um, hanging in here, scoring some runs, so we do need to break this partnership, and it's a, it's a pretty even contest, obviously we were batting first again, we seem to bat first every single time, as this one somehow 
too much bounce. It went over the top of off stump. Lucky to survive, old Sebastian. As uh, this one, we slide across him. It's a good ball. He tries to just play that one through the uh, through the covers and misses everything once again. So we we come straight on and we we, we bowl well. We bowl well early on in our in our spell, which is good to see. We don't have to, you know, we don't we don't need warm ups. We just come on, just put it on the right line, right length. A little bit of spin. Obviously, that's the one thing I really want to improve on is our is our amount of turn. Like. We are, uh, that's right there, beautiful, beautiful ball. A little bit extra bounce, like, this pitch, obviously, a bit of bounce in it. Probably a pretty hard track, and, yeah, this one just it got big on him, actually. A little bit of a, well, it was a pretty big edge, actually. It was a good take by the keeper. He also stumped him to make doubly sure of the wicket, so, yeah, we got to come on there, get one wicket in the, uh, in the first innings, bowl a couple of overs, and, you know, uh, maybe a bit of a tactic from the captain as well, just to just to keep us fresh for the for the last innings to, you know, to to bowl them out, I guess. But we're in a bit of strife here, three for forty six. Um, you know, we we need to get a decent uh, lead. Is that one? Oh, what a shot! <laughs> the pull shot. It was a beautiful looking pull shot, but it's got the. It must have hit like the back of the bat and has flown through point for four. This <laughs> that was actually. I thoroughly enjoyed that one. That's what I love about the Don Brown and cricket games. It's just realistic stuff like that. You know, a top edge or a off the back of the bat just skewing off a four. Like, that didn't happen in, like, other other cricket games. It's just it's just a lot of fun. You can get out in silly ways as well, but you can actually score some runs uh, through luck, which is which is always enjoyable. As again, using that uh, square square drive to our advantage, it's one of my preferred shots in Ashes cricket. The cut shot and like square drive and stuff in previous games was always like a very terrible animation, I thought. But in this game, it, it's very very nice. They've done a good job with it. Uh, so we move on to ten off eight here. So again, a, a good little good little stand. But we're going to get out to an absolute screamer. The man in clothes. How has he, how has he caught this? Again, looking good. Well, looking solid at least, like, not in too much danger. We get the short ball. Again, we get out to the short one. I like the pull shot, but we've hit it pretty well. He's taken one-handed Specky. How has he done it? Like, we <laughs> oh man, the superhuman feeling, man. That was, what can I even say about that one? As, uh, our tail enders do an excellent job to get us out of out of trouble there. We were we're in a bit of strife, but it's gonna be um it's always whenever you simulate it always like the lead it said lead by sixty four. It's always it's always wrong for a second. I don't know. It always takes like a a ball or two to actually calculate. I guess which is which is fine. Um, so yeah, the target is two ninety nine, which is you know pretty 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 good total. Um, it's going to make for an interesting contest, and I guess it was sort of the plan. I mean, we're on in the fifth over here, so yeah, that's conserving us for, for the last innings, obviously, and hoping that we can weave some magic to to crack a few early uh, few uh, early wickets, I guess, as that is a fantastic ball. Go for the appeal. I knew we didn't hit it, but we're looking at the replay. Just got a little bit of spin, a little bit of grip off the pitch with a newish ball. Pretty nice stuff. And uh, just too much bounce, too much bounce again. It's just, I mean, it has missed the off stump to the right, but just the bounce has just taken it over at the same time. What a ball. I always, <laughs> I always have trouble with the fucking replay, dude. But uh, look at that. That is, that is super close. Uh, super close. I can't believe it missed. Honestly, <laughs> we, <laughs> we can't, uh, get a little bit unlucky here, especially with the batting and now with the bowling is this one. Uh, looking on the replay again, I thought I couldn't really see it, but um, I wanted to see how close it was because I thought we almost bowled him around his legs. Uh, but again, not not enough spin to really bring that one back from the angle. Pretty close again. Um, I don't know where he's trying to play this one. He's he's all across the line of it, but yeah, we're we're causing a few troubles. Uh, but we come back here after a bit of a spell, and it's now four for 137. So the game. The game is definitely in the balance at the moment. It's, yeah, I don't know. You would imagine we're probably on top. You know, there's a lot of overs left. For some reason, I don't know why, but these three-day matches, like, 
I don't know how many overs are in the day, but there is a lot of overs. Like, it's not just 90 overs like a test match. It's it's a lot. It's a lot of overs. Um, so, yeah, there's, there's plenty of time, and all of a sudden, it's 5 for 202 as we finally pick up the, our first wicket. We get the breakthrough. We get the man in touch, too. We get, uh, I think it was French, for 50. So, that is, that is a huge wicket, bringing two men two new men to the crease, and yeah, it was looking a bit, uh, a bit dicey there, but now six for 200, um, two, two new players, tail enders, so yeah, good chance to, um, to pick up a few quick ones here and, and cause some trouble, so yeah, one for, what were we, one for like 30 odd into our 12th over, so tidy figures, not, uh, not the same impact yet, but you know, we just, we just need a couple to go our way, and we pick up three or four wickets, which would be, which would be lovely, and uh, we could potentially win our first game, I, yeah, the first two were, were both draws, which, like I said at the start, I think there's going to be a lot of draws in these three day, three day games, uh, but unfortunately, you're going to see here, we lose, we lose by two wickets, I don't know how that happened, I like simulated, I think I bowled like a couple more overs, but uh, Beck French actually got me in the match. He got a 50, and he got four for... No, he got six wickets and a, a 50 there, so probably pretty well deserved, but we lost the game. I have no idea how that's happened. I have no idea. We only bowled four overs in the first innings, and we didn't do too much with the bat, and then the second innings, one for 56 off 17 overs. <laughs> Hopefully, guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.